Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Suck at Dark Souls. Uh, in our last episode you saw me do something very undignified and uh, I rage quit. I will fully admit to the fact that I went ahead and just straight up rage quit. This episode's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be experimenting with my setup. I've been doing some watching of Let's Plays and reading some stuff online and it looks like one problem I have might be that I'm too goddamn heavy. I'm going to go ahead and switch to some uh, lighter weight gear and see how that helps as far as my ability to not, you know, die so fucking hardcore. So I'll go ahead and equip my one of my lightest weight 100% physical shields, which is going to be my hollow soldier shield. Go ahead and get equip a secondary shield in the form of the round shield, which is supposed to help your parrying. Okay, my primary weapon, I'm probably still going to rock the Drake Sword, because it's still the weapon I have with the highest attack power. But for my secondary, the Pyromancy Flame is fucking worthless here. And a bow is not a whole hell of a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and experiment a little bit with the... Oh, I don't have the stats to wield the winged spear. And I'm missing dexterity. Of course I am. But I can go ahead and equip the halberd as a secondary. And see if that might help me a little bit. Hmm. I have the stats, it didn't give me any warnings as far as equipping it. But he's swinging it like a retard. Like a straight up, like a straight up fucking Riri. Could be because it's too, it's too heavy. Alright, so I'll just equip the regular, you know, the spears. Got a really, really low attack quotient though. I don't have anywhere near the strength to wield a great axe. Uh, Fuck me. Fine. Rapier. See if that might help me against these big motherfuckers. Who knows, maybe go ahead and equip my parrying shield. That's actually pretty effective for crit on a uh, on parry. Fascinating. Fuck. Fuck. Bam! I'm trying to work on my timing because you know if I can't parry, I'm just gonna fucking die over and over and over and over and over again. Yes. I'm rolling a little bit faster, so we'll just have to see how this plays out. Okay, got him. Ah, fuck. Bam! Target, get back and chug. Ah, bastard. Fuck. Ah, bastard. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, just so you're aware, the next few episodes are probably going to be a lot like this as I try to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Because if it's not apparent by the name of this fucking series, I'm not very good at this game. Ah, too early. There we go. Yeah, when you're fighting a knight like that in a corridor, your best option is just going to be to try to parry the shit out of him. 
Oh, oh. Back off, drink. Too early. And I'm dead. <sighs> Trying to learn that fucking timing, man. That fucking timing. Too early. Okay, there's the one. Too early. Get back. Getting the timing down on the parry is the hardest, is one of the hardest things to learn in this damn game. Because if your timing is just not is not just perfect, you're gonna get raped and hard without lube with a razor dildo. I hate fighting these things in fucking corridors. There's one. Get back. Two. Good, good. I'm getting a little bit better. Get back. Get in. Nope. There we go. My timing was a wee off. Go ahead and slip back to the Drake Sword because I'm not doing fuck all for damage with this thing. Wow, I didn't think I was close enough for him to hit me, but I guess the... The cheapness of Dark Souls knows no fucking bounds, but that's just the way it goes. That's just the way this shit rolls. Ow. Ow. Too early. Boom! Chug Astas. Try to get this guy. Too early. Too or too late. On time. Hmm, drop something. <laughs> Broken straight sword. More like piece of fucking shit. Oh well. It'll be useful in the end. Well, I'm not moving around a lot. At this point, it seems to just behoove me to equip the, the, just the strongest armor I have. Not that that's saying a hell of a lot, but fuck it. Fat roll for the win. At this point, I'm just not moving around very much. So I'm going to see how this works. Too close. Oh, nope. And I'm dead. Wow. Talk about your all time fucking backfire. And that backfired fucking hard. Okay, so I will not be using that fucking equipment. Because I'm so heavy that I can basically not fucking move. Oh, live and learn. Live and learn. Ooh, too late. Ooh, too late. Uh. Just try to keep myself from fucking dying unnecessarily there because that would've been just fucking bullshit. Too late. No, too early, rather. Right on time. Shanky, shanky.
I've noticed my videos are a little dark. I'm going to go ahead and try dialing up the brightness so that YouTube can see it a little bit better. with his shield bash. <sighs> Fuck me. I hate these knights so much. Fuck. At this point, it's going to be either kill him or lose the souls, because fighting him on the stairs just does not fucking work. That made itself quite fucking plain. Alright, bitch, let's do this. Let's dance. Nope. Nope. That didn't work. Chug, chug, chug. Bam! Get back. Two! Okay. Okay, I think I might be starting to get this down a little bit. And three! Motherfucker! Suck my dick! Suck my dick! Suck my fat fucking dick! Yes! I finally got the fucking timing right! I finally got the fucking timing right! Oh, there's that asshole. Alright, let's do this. Come on, bitch. Come on. Back. Shanky. Oh. <laughs> he kicked me. Shank, motherfucker. You go, motherfucker. Okay, so apparently I am getting a little bit better at this. I didn't think I would be, you know, Hulk stomping all over those guys, but I'll take what I can get. Go ahead and open this door. And replenish my Estus. Because I used up way fucking more than I wanted to, but that's the perils of learning to fight in a game like this. Dodge because that fucker, in, that fucking trap comes back. Go ahead and switch over to my shield. So at the moment I don't, don't need to be parrying. At the moment I need to be blocking. Ah, 
fucking bitch. Die, bitch, die. Slash, slash. Dead, dead. Pop this door with the asylum uh, second floor west key. And here we get the item that we actually came for, the rusted iron ring. The rusted iron ring gives you the ability to walk perfectly through the water. Yes, that's all it does is strengthens your footings on bad surfaces, such as water. The reason it's so important is because Blight Town is a fucking water level. You heard me right. Blight Town is a fucking water level. So, yeah, that's a fucking thing is what it is. Alright, for this level I'm definitely going to drop into my... Dexterity because my dex is kind of sucking pretty hard right now. Okay, so we're gonna head down here. Alright, go ahead and flip to my parrying shield. Because fuck me, I'm going to need it! Against this bastard. Too late. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Well, at least I spent some of those souls before we started this shit again. Oh well. We'll give him one more go. And if we don't get him on this run, we'll just end the episode here and, uh, We'll try them again next episode, because I think we're starting to run just a little bit on the long side. Yes. It might help if I actually have my finger on the parrying button and not the fucking blocking button. BAM! There's one. Get back. Get off my sword, motherfucker. Get back. Get in. Oop, too late. Get back. And three, motherfucker! Three, motherfucker! The Black Knight Sword and the Tight Knight Chunk. Sweet! Black Knight Sword! The Black Knight Sword. Scales on strength. Guess what my next sword's going to be? Yes, that's my next sword. Scale strength as a C and dex as an E. So I am so going to use that son of a bitch as my next sword. Okay, so we head down to our cell and grab the peculiar doll. Now, I'm going to be very, very fortright and say I don't know what the hell that thing does. Just to be very, very honest, is I don't know what that doll is for. I know I'm going to grab it, just in case I need it. But I don't actually know what it's for. As you can see, I move perfectly fluidly through the water now. No slowdown, no... No nothing. I can fight, I can move, I cannot fucking die in the water. Because without the rusted iron ring, all you can really do in the water is... Well, is, is die. Painfully, might I add. Alright, we're gonna pop a large soul, a nameless soldier, just so I can get up to... Uh, having enough souls to level again. We're gonna drop that one into. We're gonna double check that sword. Twenty and eighteen. So 
We're gonna continue leveling our dexterity. We need to get up to 18 dex. In fact, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do go on. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop me some pills. Cause I got quite a few. Maybe I'll get enough souls to. I think I might be a little short. Yeah, I'm short. I'm gonna have to go grind up a little bit. I need I need one kill here in the church. I can do that. I think I can handle that. Dead. Now I have enough souls. Time to go level up again. Now we have the 17 of the 18 decks that we need. Our defenses are going up nicely. Okay. And I think this is where we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up. In the next episode, we're going to continue to fuck around here in the Undead Asylum. Maybe give that boss motherfucker another run. Uh, as always, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. You know, leave me constructive criticism. I'm probably not going to quit the series. I was just raging really, really hard at the end of the last episode. As always, this has been Shadow the Impure signing off. Have yourself a great day.